In this video, we will explore how to interpret the p-value for the student's t-test and how to express this value in a mathematical expression correctly. Let's try to understand the p-values for the following t-test output summaries. In the first case, from the given information, we can observe that the hypothesis test is left-tailed. The t-statistic lies on the left tail of the t-distribution. The t-statistic follows a t-distribution with 21 degrees of freedom, and the p-value is 0.0837. Now in this case, the p-value is the probability of getting the t-statistic at least as extreme as minus 1.43 when the null hypothesis is true. Now, moving on to the second case. The hypothesis test is right-tailed. The t-statistic lies on the right tail of the t-distribution. The t-statistic follows a t-distribution with 34 degrees of freedom, and the p-value is 0.0067. Now, in this case, the p-value is the probability of getting the t-statistic at least as extreme as 2.61 when the null hypothesis is true. Considering the third case. The hypothesis test is two-tailed. The t-statistic lies on the left tail of the t-distribution. The t-statistic follows a t-distribution with 224 degrees of freedom, and the p-value is 0.006. Now, in this case, the p-value is the probability of getting the absolute value of the t-statistic at least as extreme as 1.89 when the null hypothesis is true. Please comment, like and subscribe for more such videos.